Since I was not blind from birth, I can visualize and remember how these tools look like, the drill, the hammer and nails, which makes the learning process faster. Taher has been making brooms in the heart of Jerusalem's old city for years. Where through the sounds of saws and murmur of heavy machinery, he has been able to visualize a new path for himself despite losing his vision decades ago. I became a member of this association when I became blind. It taught me and helped me to excel at this job, and thankfully, I started my work here in this field. The first collective of its kind in the Middle East, the Arab Blind Association was formed in 1932 under the British mandate as a school, before finding its home on the historic Via Della Rosa in 1954. Here, blind workers have been able to find new purpose working with their hands, making high-quality brooms from scratch to be used in cities and towns across Israel. We notice that they work with brushes and brooms of various kinds, and the materials that the blind people use at work are 100% natural materials. For example, coconut straw is used to make brushes, which is a natural material, which is a tree. White loofah and horsehair, you can see that all materials are natural and also environmentally friendly materials. They are part of uh, this history. We are now in Via de la Rosa, uh, which has witnessed, witnessed two, 2,000 years ago a lot of history. And this city keeps, uh, it lives, it survives with, with history. And our, our main target is to try to maintain this history, uh, support all the associations that can support the city and support the vulnerable part of, of the society inside the city. At peak times, this workshop employs dozens of blind people from around Israel and the West Bank. Since the coronavirus pandemic, numbers have shrunk down to four. The numbers may be dwindling, but the impact of the Arab Blind Association has been unimaginable. UNESCO has even recognized the association's work, tasking them with spreading to countries across the Arab world, where they have set up shop in Iraq, the Emirates, and Egypt. The idea behind establishing this association was to bring the blind people and give them an honorable profession so that they can live and prove to society that they are people who are capable of production, work and creativity.